guys, BatmanRecmo13 here, and this is the first episode of a new series I'm starting called Battle Pack Face-Off, where I take two battle packs, put them together, and truly see which one is the best battle pack of the year. So I'm taking set 75, this is 207, Imperial Patrol Battle Pack, has 99 pieces in the building, ages are 6 to 12, and at 75206, the Jedi and Clone Trooper Battle Pack has 102 pieces, and the building ages are 6 to 12 again. And uh, here is the tops, the sides of the box right there. And then you guys can see the backs of the box, and then also the top of the box where it has the recommended um, life size minifigure on there. Um, so basically, Two really cool battle packs. I decided to end uh, gonna take these two battle packs, space them together, and see which one is the better one. So yeah, without further ado, let's go and get this get this video started. Okay, guys, so here are the two sets built, and I gotta say these are pretty nice builds, but one of them I really like more, and I'll get into that later. But they both have new molds, and both of those molds are actually really, really nice. And uh, yes, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the minifigures. Okay guys, so starting out with the figures for these two sets, which pretty much makes the two sets, in my opinion, the reason why people are buying battle packs to begin with, is the figures. So starting off with the figures, starting off with the Imperial Patrol battle pack, uh, the two Imperial Patrol troopers themselves, we're going to start out with those. Uh, they have some pretty nice prints on both of the sides of the torso. The legs have pretty nice prints, it's very reminiscent of the uh, Shore Trooper uh, from Rogue One, which it takes a lot of inspiration from Rogue One, which I think Disney's going... It, it, I don't know, they have very similar designs between the Rogue One and, and the Han Solo movie, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, overall pretty nice figures, has the two new head molds for the uh, helmet right there, uh, and then obviously the new prints. And then moving on to uh, the Imperial Officer, uh, he has a pretty nice prints, I don't know if they're new or not, I'm pretty sure they are, but I'm not too, I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, the, obviously the hat mold has been, I don't know, has been reprinted, recolored several times. And all we have is the dark bluish gray color, so that's that's okay. Uh, it's a really nice figure overall. I think it's a new head print, but uh, overall pretty nice figure. Uh, moving on to uh, I don't know what this figure's called. It's just like a I don't know, like a Death Star Trooper kind of looking thing, but it has the uh, like, like a pilot kind of torso I think from Rogue One. Uh, the torso is not a new print. The head mold is not a new print. The only thing that is new print is the head. Uh, it's a pretty nice print on both sides for that. Uh, it's a pretty nice figure overall, and I think uh, that's about it for the figures. Uh, so now we can move on to the build itself. So uh, I'm going to be doing a voiceover, but uh, yeah. But moving on to the build itself, we can move the figures right here. So the figures. So the uh, let's see the build itself right here, as you guys can see. Uh, the build is a pretty nice build. It's it's okay. It's nothing really special. It's a really nice speeder though. I really like this design. Um, and Minari and no, yeah, <laughs> uh, Productions. He said uh, it was a pretty nice speeder. I didn't really think it was great, but uh, now building it, it's a actually really okay and really pretty nice speeder uh, compared to the Clincher Battle Pack. This is definitely the better build out of the two sets, in my opinion. Uh, you guys can vote against that, but I do think this is the better build out of both sets um, so yeah so really just nothing much here it's got like what 99 probably it's got like 75 pieces on I'm not really sure but it's, it doesn't have too much pieces on it to be honest it's it's a really nice speeder though but built with very little pieces uh, you know not really great pieces here you get some imperial uh, printed tiles right there so that's always get good to get uh, some transparent elements on the back and then really nothing much just a stud shoot you guys know how those work you just clip on that piece and it just fires but nothing really special with that uh, speeder other than it looks great but uh, that's about it for that battle pack uh, so now we can go ahead and move on to now we can go ahead and move on to the Jedi and Clone Trooper battle pack uh, starting out with these figures as you guys can see right here we are starting out with first Jedi I'm not sure of his name but uh, starting out with the first Jedi he has some pretty good prints on both sides and he's pretty nice figure overall definitely some new prints I'm not sure if this is a new head mold or not but uh, it might be this is obviously based off uh, not based off the Clone Wars but based off the live action version episode 3 where he started that uh, not very you know very limited screen time but still a important Jedi uh, nonetheless but some pretty good prints new arm printing obviously because none of these people in the battle packs have arm printing but it'd be nice um, but obviously you probably have to get in a bigger set to get the arm printing but anyways uh, pretty nice print on both sides even on the legs uh, so pretty nice figure overall and then moving on to the next figure which 
is the next Jedi. Uh, pretty nice hood right there, as you guys can see. Um, I, I can't really pronounce her name, but that's that's why I'm not saying her name. Uh, it's a pretty nice hood right there, obviously in dark blue. I think we've had it in dark blue before. I uh, got the cloth cape, which I'm not really liking. I don't like the cloth cape. I don't know if you guys know this but, about me, but I'm not really a huge fan of cloth capes. But uh, they're okay, but uh, definitely not my favorite, and uh, just just not a really good piece overall. I don't really like it. I, I prefer the crisp capes more. But anyways, has a new piece for the legs, uh, so it's not like that brick anymore, not that slope anymore. It's an actual piece that is specifically made for people with robes and kind of stuff like that on the legs. Uh, so pretty nice figure overall. I really like that new piece. Um, I don't. It doesn't really fall over too much, but uh, it, it's definitely a pretty good piece overall. Uh, and then the two clone troopers. We've had these before, but obviously we always love getting clone troopers. I don't remember the last time we've got a clone trooper battle pack, so I'm really glad to get a uh, battle pack with clone troopers in it. And luckily, it has two in there, so not just like one or something like that. But uh, uh, I, for both these battle packs, I would definitely get them when they go on sale for like eleven or nine bucks, even. Um, I've seen battle packs go on sale for nine and even eight. So uh, you know, watch out for these; they might go on sale soon. Uh, so better pick these up when they do go on sale. Uh, but I don't think it's worth retail for getting them both. Um, but yeah, anyways. Uh, those are the figures guys, some pretty nice prints on all of them. Now we can go ahead and move on to the speeder itself. So the speeder, it's not really that nice. I mean, you can put a figure in, I'm not really going to show you, but you can put a figure in there. It's not really nice, but uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's not bad. I don't know if it's based off of anything in particular. Uh, it kind of has a reminiscence of the cool turbo tank and, and kind of like every clone ship out there with the green and everything like that. Um, it's okay. It's it's not the best. It's not the worst. It kind of looks like the uh, the, uh, the the gunner ship. I don't know. I don't. Really, I'm not really that knowledgeable about clone stuff. But uh, it, it's okay. It's an okay speeder. Uh, it's supposed to be a speeder. It's not supposed to be a ship. I don't think. But uh, you know, it's pretty nice. It's a small build, but uh, it's okay. I got some okay pieces here. I got these circle plates. Got some circle tiles with a hole in the middle. It's it's an okay. You got some okay pieces, some stud shooters in the front, obviously those work just by doing that and shoot them out, um, and then you lose them forever and, and you lose them for eternity, uh, but th that's okay. Um, it's it's a really, it's they're all t okay sets, but I think overall, guys, uh, looking at both of these sets, which one, this is the real debate here, which one is worth the price and which one should you pick up uh, instead of just picking up both? Um, that, it, that seems to be the question here. I'm just going to stall while I put these figures up. Um, but yeah, so that seems to be the question. And I think it, for both, for the price that it has, um, obviously the Jedi and Clone Trooper Battle Pack has more pieces, but not that much more pieces. But still, uh, it's a pretty pretty nice pieces in both sets. Uh, two molds, two both new molds. You got the new mold for the dress piece right there on the Jedi figure. Uh, and you obviously get clones in that set. Um, and then you got some two new molds for uh, the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. So depending on what you like better, the Han Solo movie or, or just Jedi and clones, I think. To be honest, I think the Jedi and clones for Battle Pack has better figures. Um, but whereas the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack has a better build. Uh, the speeder is it's just a far better build than the clone trooper battle pack build. I, I just like it a lot better. Um, I don't know, I, it just looks a lot better and I would rather have the build of that set and the figures of the Jedi battle pack set. Um, so, f you know, it's just kind of, I'm half and half on both. I love the figures in the clone trooper battle pack set, but I also love the figures, the, I mean the build, and the Imperial Patrol battle pack. So. They're really two great sets. I mean, I don't know what to, how to, to pick a winner here, but uh, I guess I have to. Um, I gotta vote. I don't. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I think I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. Um, for an army builder, definitely. I think you might want to get the Jedi Battle Pack if you want to build an army of clones, um, which obviously an army of clones is more desirable than an army of patrol. Troopers because I mean obviously we haven't seen the movie yet but it, it still would be an okay and I, I think I think it's an okay um, I haven't seen the movie yet but I think these clone troopers are a lot better than the Imperial Patrol troopers just because you know we haven't seen them in action yet so we don't know necessarily but I think after seeing the movie you might like the Imperial Patrols better um, but I'm not sure I mean you know 
pick your own set. I, I don't really know what to tell you here. Um, if you like clone troopers more, which a lot of you do, uh, definitely get the, the army builder for the clone trooper set. Um, and you get two Jedi too, um, which I don't really like sets that are not army, that, that all the figures are army builders. So, unlike the Jedi battle pack, the Imperial patrol battle pack, you can army build with both. You know, you can, all the figures are, are completely interchangeable, you know, you can, it, you don't have to... Because unlike the Jedi Clone Trooper Battle Pack, you have two Jedi that are actual characters in the Star Wars universe. And unlike the in, um, in the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack, I can't work. Um, all the figures in this set are not individual characters. They're just troopers. You know, they're not really special to the movie or anything. They're not really they're not really in a, you know important characters. Which I guess you could you could argue, but for Battle Pack, I really you know, army building is, is definitely key with getting battle packs, and uh, the Jedi battle pack, you just can't do much army building unless you buy a lot of these sets and then just sell off to the other couple Jedi you have, because um, you're going to have a lot more Jedi, you're not really going to want a bunch of the same character, um, but the Imperial Patrol battle pack, you can get a lot of those battle packs and have all four characters that you don't have to dispose of. You don't have to dispose of the Jedi and stuff like that because they're not their own separate character and it just makes more sense. So, uh, in my opinion, I definitely think the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack is a little bit better, um, but you know, if you guys like clones better and you guys like Jedi more, um, for getting one set each, I do think the Jedi Battle Pack wins, but if, you get, if you're trying to army build, the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack is the way to go. So, I think they're both winners in a sense. But anyways, guys, that has been long enough for this video. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and end this video off. Okay, guys, so that has to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this comparison. If you guys any, have any other ideas for sets that you guys want me to compare in the future, I will be glad to take those suggestions and uh, do that as well. I also have some ideas for sets such as the Octu Training set and the New Year's how that just came out. That I just got that as well. Uh, so I'm planning on doing that set review or comparison later in the future. I don't know. Some of you guys think about that and let me know if you guys have any other suggestions for sets I can compare in the future without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right now so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy please like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys next time